Hey, 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 everybody. How you guys doing today? A little backstory and what's going on here. Shelter Logic 12 by 20 portable garage I bought close to four years ago now. The first cover on this garage lasted two years. And right when I needed it the most, right in the middle of the winter in a snowstorm, hailstorm, ice storm, she got devastated. The wind took the cover right off her. I went to my local Canadian tire store where I bought this thing and I paid 400 bucks for a new cover plus tax Canadian this is Canadian dollars now I put the cover on and then nine months later this is what happened you can see the cracks see that all cracked and split I've already put tape on it see that all cracked and split all cracked and split that's the side that gets all the UV that is a side that gets the sun over here. Everybody said you got to reinforce your joints. And I, I made a video on this two years, a year ago. So anyways, now, so anyways, after nine months, this cover did that. So I got an idea. I'm going to fix it inexpensively for now. A good friend of mine who's a roofer, a professional roofer, he owns a fairly successful roofing business gave me the advice that you put anything on it put white white will help reflect the light help reflect some of the uv and white will not deteriorate like any other color in the sun not nearly as quick so i went and bought a 50 by 50 tarp or sorry so i went to canadian tire again and i bought a 20 by 20 tarp for 50 bucks well that's pretty inexpensive i would say for a repair so my 50 dollar tarp i draped it over and I went through the outside with self-tapping screws, big ones with great big fender washers, right, to hold her down. And I made a video showing what I did here almost a year ago. We're talking about 50 weeks right now. We're two weeks short of a year since I did this. So again, on the outside, there's a tarp. You can see through here the reflection of the grommet. Okay, that's through the outside. This is the initial cover. So anyways, right about that time that I bought the white tarp and installed it and that I did a video showing it. I also contacted Shelter Logic. Well, I'm going to say they were pretty good about it. They sent me a new tarp under warranty and they said, we'll send you one more. There's no warranty or you can upgrade and pay a pile of money and we're talking thousands of dollars and you can get one that we'll put a really good warranty on, right? Ten years or something. I said, thank you very much. I took the new cover and I sold it <laughs> for like 300 bucks. The guy bought it. I'm not putting another one of these dark gray covers on this tent. So anyways, then after that, I took OSB and I put that and I wooded all that end wall in and everything because the wind blows this way. What was happening was the wind would blow and she'd bullfrog and all that out on me and I was afraid and then the zipper started going in the doors and blah, blah, blah. It was the greatest thing I did and the worst thing I ever did at the same time because I wish the opening was bigger. My truck will fit in here by literally a quarter inch on each side. My car will fit in here by a half inch on each side. And it's just so hard to bring stuff in and out. But anyways, the OSB is there. Makes it way better, way more secure. So again, people were saying, oh, you got to paint it. It's going to go to crap in six months and da 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 from the water if you don't paint it. Well, guess what? I've painted it. It looks awesome out there. The review or the comments on the first video that I said how to do it inexpensively. And then a bunch of comments started coming in about metal siding, metal siding, metal siding, metal siding, burn metal. And I, I did a rent review to tell the guys, 1400 bucks, you would be approximate to put metal on this, right? And that's with no strap and no nothing. That's not considering any lumber, 1400. So my $50 repair, the whole point of this video is gonna show you guys whether or not I was successful after almost a year with my $50 repair to repair my portable garage. And the thing is, this 20 by 20 went about four feet off the ground on both sides. I can also buy a 20 by 30, they call it a boat tarp, for $99. That will go the whole way across, right down to the ground on both sides, right? A win-win, I guess, if white will hold up. People tell me that it won't hold blah. So people are telling me that the white tarp will not hold up any better than what the original gray was, right? It's nothing to do with the color, it's to do with the UV. I don't know. Maybe we should go outside and have a look, see what everybody thinks about this. 
go check it out. First, I'm going to show you what I painted. It looks quite nice now, i got to say, I think, anyway. Look at that. How's that look, guys? Looks pretty decent. Doesn't look horrific in any way. There's a few comments that I think I should almost be ashamed of myself, how terrible it looks. Well, let's look over here on this side. Here's the white tarp. This is one year later. And this is not the side with the UV, though. This isn't the side that goes bad. But check it out. One year later. Could have got it a little tighter pulled over here. It's flawless. There's not a mark on this, okay? Not an absolute mark on this. Well, let's go see the winter, winter chicken dinner and see how it looks on the bad side. It gets all the UV. We have had storm after storm. We have had ice storms. We have had wind storms. We have had hail storms. We have had storms that I thought this whole thing was going to blow off the ground. Let's have a look, guys. Wow. Would you check it out? You'd pretty well swear I put that on yesterday. Even on the stress points, I could have put pool noodles on there or something like people said. I didn't even bother because it's a $50 tarp. The whole point of the last video and the whole topic of the last video was how to fix a portable garage inexpensively. Well, I think I did okay. <laughs> what do you think? And people said, you know, I had comments, oh, that's terrible. Well, let's see, I got a gray and white house. I got a gray and white garage over here. So I got a gray and white portable. I think it's a win-win chicken freaking den, is it not? And this OSB, does it look like it's going anywhere yet? It looks perfect. It's not flaking. It's not peeling. I did it with an oil base paint. I did two good heavy coats on it. And guys were going on like that OSB was just going to go to crap. Do you know how much plywood costs right now? How I repaired my portable garage inexpensively was with a cheap $50 tarp, a little bit of willpower, a little bit of smarts. All worked out for me, I think, anyway. And you can see the fender washers. I had a couple comments. I could have put grommets and stuff. See this? I just went right through with this great big washer, right through with this great big washer, right through with that great big washer. And those are like a self-tapping sheet metal screw that bore a hole and drilled it into it, right? But anyway, let's go get one last good look at this thing and have a look and see. What do you think? Not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? And I don't think it looks bad. So, again, anyway, my whole point of the video was a year ago how to fix it inexpensively without sheet metal, without barn siding, without fiberglass siding, and without going putting people are saying billboard signs and everything else, and that's all great. And that stuff's cheap around here as far as I know. So $50 tarp for the win. And I bet you it'll last another year, and I'll do another video, and probably by next year I'll be tired of looking at the grail on the bottom, and I'll actually put a 20 by 30, and I can pull that right to the ground on both sides. So Anyways, a win-win for me, guys. There you go. Now, the 30 would have just enough. You go just to the ground on both sides. So, there she be. You know what? That's all I can say for now. Live simply, remain grateful. We'll talk to you soon.